guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Melissa. I'm here today with Jose. What's up, guys? And we are doing a cooking video. And since it is the month of October and it's Halloween, we are going to make feet loaf instead of meatloaf. Feet loaf. This Ooh. is our first time making it, so hopefully it comes out good. And we're gonna bring you along. Let's go. Where are we going? Cook. <laughs> <laughs> have to have ground beef you have to have salt and pepper breadcrumbs Westchester sauce or however you say it some ketchup a bowl to mix your ingredients you need eggs and you also need which I've never heard of this before it's some weird plant and it is called leeks leeks and that is gonna be your ankle bone so you use this for the bone and then last but not least is an onion for the toenails which i don't have out yet <laughs> but they're over there yeah we're going to combine the ground beef salt pepper garlic onion powder also if you want to um eggs and breadcrumbs so let's go and make sure you wash your hands before you do this yes don't be gross all right so first get your ground beef put it in there you eating all of it the beef. You know what they say, it's all about the beef. Gotta get your hands dirty. All right, I'm gonna take some breadcrumbs. We'll pour that in there. Garlic. Whoa, turn on. What is that? Garlic. Can I see? Garlic salt. I didn't say nothing about garlic salt. He said, wants to go directly by the menu. Come it, on, give me some time. It's it not a menu recipe. Come on, come on, guys. Salt. Didn't say, didn't say anything. See, she, she put garlic salt and now she's adding more salt. And it's then the garlic some powder. Pepper. Garlic salt is better than that. This is garlic powder, but we're gonna use onion powder. Follow direction, guys. Good. Onion powder, and then some eggs. You sure it said onion powder or garlic powder? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it said garlic powder. So we're gonna use three eggs. She's over here just, just throwing stuff in here without being sure what we're doing. That's how you do it. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely don't. Pretty sure it said garlic powder, not onion powder. It's okay. Onion powder is just as good. Okay, now that we have all the ingredients into the bowl, this is what it looks like. And Jose is going to mix it with his hands. Let's go. Mmm. You beat that meat. <laughs> Only in the shower. Oh. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's enough. It might not be. Because this is a lot of meat. That's what she said. <laughs> Made that too easy for you. <laughs> yeah, I, don't think, I don't think it was enough stuff. You gotta really mix it. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. It would say, like, kind of still a little bit frozen. Oh, the muscles. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is done, I say, because I'm not going to throw more stuff in here and then have it tasting too salty or too much, you know, seasoning and stuff. But like I said, it's a lot of meat, and I don't think you sprinkled enough salt in here. Maybe not. Okay, so he thinks we need to add more ingredients, so... Please don't add any more onion. Okay, right. so we're going to add some garlic powder, which Jose loves on cheese pizza. It's delicious. And then what else? I'd say more salt and pepper. That was not enough. You see how much meat is in there? This is a big chunk of meat, and she's just acting like it's a tiny piece, of, like a steak or something. Okay, mix it up. So now we're gonna transfer this into the pan so he can sculpt it. So I'm sure any pan would be good, but we bought this pan. It was like two dollars at Walmart. So we're gonna sculpt it in here. After we sculpt it, we will cut the onion and put the ankle bone in. I was thinking, I'm sure a lot of people have done the foot thing for Halloween and stuff, but I wonder how many people have made a male's organ with the meat. I don't know if that would be appropriate for YouTube. I'm not saying for YouTube, but I'm just saying <laughs> in general. You can make some boobies. Some boobies. That's a big nut sack. <laughs> See, she's just, she's just wrong, guys. She's completely, she's completely off. Her rocker. Yeah, I am. I have some loose screws. It's okay. I, my clear mind said, "Oh, that's a that's a big meatball." 
All right, so we're gonna use this to make the foot. So we're just gonna kind of shape it into a foot. Who has a ball as a foot? What are you talking about? I'm just then you stop making twos, but. Remember what you told me about meatloaf. We're doing it, so we're. It can't be too compacted or it won't cook great. Right. Yeah, but it has to be, like in this situation it has to be because it'll pretty much fall apart. It gotcha. won't be, it won't look like a foot. It won't pretty much look like anything. And for all you people that are like me, excuse my missing cabinet over there. It broke. There we go. See, this is, it was wrong for me to be the one to make this because I'm a perfectionist and I'm going to try to sit here and messing with this thing until I got a perfect foot. But it looks like, you know, it's, it's getting there, it's getting there. Got to give it that, that arch of the foot, you know. Some people don't have this and they got a flat foot. Kind of look like Bigfoot. Doesn't look like a person's foot at all. I'm going to take some of this stuff. I don't know which one, how to position it though, because if we're going to do the onion toenails, it would have to be completely the other way. Long ways? Yeah, kind of like... So if this is the bottom of the foot, all right, so it would have to be kind of like, but you can't do it that way. That's why I believe that people pretty much just do a foot and they, they don't do a whole leg because, you know. Should have went with my pan that I had. Yes, we should have. I said, I said that, but then she changed her mind. Lies. Want to make just one big giant foot? Make two. Make two. Make two feet. All right. So this is the first foot. What is that? This is what Melissa's toe looks like, guys. <laughs> How about you make a foot, I make a foot? That sounds like a challenge to me. Okay. And don't lie, guys. Don't lie. Don't lie and tell her that her foot was better than mine just because you guys like Melissa more than me. So don't be honest. Be, be honest, honest with yourselves. <laughs> Look at that foot, that <laughs> big old big toe. Mm, not my best work, but I'll, it'll, it'll do, it'll do. It will do. Very it'll nice. Do. You. All right, now it's Melissa's turn to make her foot. Yeah. Welcome to my cooking show. No, I'm joking. So we have a little left, I think. You shouldn't use all that to make your foot. Yeah? I <sighs> thought I had to use a whole of it. You're such a smart lady. <laughs> Who wants an implant? <laughs> <laughs> when have you guys seen such a beauty cook? Look at this. Look at this. Well, I guess in the last cooking video. All right, so. Gotta make foot, which I don't even know what a really foot looks like, but you know. Do you not have a foot? I do, but doesn't mean I know how to make a foot. It's you know, one thing. Looks like she's making a canoe. <laughs> Whose big toe looks like that? <laughs> Everybody's just got these long ass straight toes. Who's got a big toe like that? <laughs> Do it. Make sure it's, you know, big toe. Voila! <laughs> I don't, I have no idea what that is, guys, but that's Melissa's foot. <laughs> Great job, baby. Looks beautiful. Thanks. Talk about a flat foot. Yes. So now I'm going to wash my hands and then we're going to put the nails on. Clean hands. Now I'm assuming, you know, the onion needs to be cut like this. And then let's see. So I'm going to cut it in half. And then this will be his big toe. I'll do my own toenails. Thank you very much. You may. And then we'll put this one right here. And then this one will go for the little toe. A little shorter. Okay, for 
perfect. And then for the next toe, I'm gonna give this one here a little shape. So it's gonna be like, you know, kind of a different toenail. And by the way, you're supposed to preheat the oven to 375. So there's that toenail. And then this is, which in all honesty, I don't know what this is. I've never even cooked with this before. If you know what it is, down in the comments, tell me what you would make out of this. Like, what is this? Like, what do you make with this? So I'm gonna cut this off. There is my beautiful foot out of one to 10 rated down below. And whoever wins will give, I don't know. <laughs> um, let's see. Whoever wins, what should we do if whoever wins? Um, whoever wins has to do whatever the other person asks them to do in the next video that'll be posted on YouTube. Okay, so if I win, I have to make Jose do something. If he wins, he has to make me do something. So make sure you vote and be honest. You know, it's okay if I lose. I yes, so guys. Amazing. Yes, guys. I, I, I feel the favoritism out there. So be honest with the foots. Yes. Look at that thing. Good Lord. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to swap places again and then Jose is going to do his nails. All right, guys. Welcome back to Cooking Correctly. <laughs> All right. So we're going to make the big toe first. That's the big toe. Okay. Next two. Let's see. I need a big, nice piece of onion. Yeah. Fine. The way it is. I think it's too big. Maybe too big. You talk about my toe. Look at these monstrous toenails. He hasn't clipped his toenails in a while. Ah. It was a little big. It was a little big. I, I admit, it was a little big. Look at that. He he making an actual toenail. <laughs> I plan to win. Very nice. Very nice. And the last one. All right, all right. Now, gotta cut my bone. Voila. You know, I don't gotta do this, but you know, it makes sense, right? And there it is, guys. My foot and her foot. My foot looks deformed. Definitely does. She's regretting her decision. Uh-oh. I can feel it. All right, now we're going to throw these babies in the oven. And we'll get back to you guys in about... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Can you come back this way? Come join me down here, please. I think she needs to go to the doctor. She has a growth on her foot. <laughs> Look at this. This is, right? This is a foot, right? And then what is this? Somebody's got a got an issue over here. Sure. So we have some leftover meat, so we're gonna make some meatballs out of it. Um, also, you know, since we're doing this, we're gonna talk with you guys. So, wanna talk? Ready for this? Ready, ready? So, como esta? Bien, tú? Bien. <laughs> That's about all I know. <laughs> and I know, me llamo Melissa. Y tú? Me llamo Jose. Very nice. Yeah, that, that's my Spanish right there. How you guys like that? He is fluently in Spanish. I am fluently in Melissa language, which, you know, <laughs> comes out all crazy and stuff sometimes. Yeah. And down in the comments, I'd love to know what is your favorite holiday? I love Halloween and Christmas are my favorite holidays. Um, what about you guys? What about you? Um, I would say my main favorite one would be Halloween because, you know, you know, part of me, Growing up, it wasn't always fun. So, you know, I wasn't that kid that always got, you know, those those fun, nice Christmas. So, you know, I never grew fond to Christmas. I wasn't very fond of Christmas. But Halloween, you know, it's Halloween. Yeah. I love Christmas too, though. I love the lights. I love the cooler weather. We don't get snow in Florida, so we don't get the four seasons. But, you know, we get a little bit chilly here, just no snow and stuff like that. Um, but I love Christmas. I love the Christmas tree. I love, she definitely does. I love it. It's like, ooh, little, little kid. Um, back in my day, you know, like, you talk to your parents, like, back in my day. <laughs> well, back in my day, when I was a little kid, we always went to my aunt's house or got together with my mom's family, and we'd all get together, and cousins, aunts and uncles, it was amazing. Everything was closed. Nothing was open. 
And those are especially some good time memories. So let me know what a memory of your holiday, Halloween, Christmas. And for Halloween, me and my brother would go out and we'd get pillowcases, you know? Screw the buckets, man. We got pillowcases. And we would just go house to house, bunch of candy, and still have to come home and check our candy, you know? Because you know, people are weird nowadays. Do you think people were like crazy like that back in the day too? Yeah, my mom always made us check her candy. I mean, I think today with the whole social media trend, you know, you do get to find out more. Back in the day, we didn't have cell phones, you know? We had phones, so... You didn't really know what was going on everywhere, which today, I mean, you don't miss a beat today. You wipe your butt the wrong way, it's going to be on social media, you know? So, I'm just kidding. No, By the way... Nice. It's, it's the truth. <laughs> it's the truth. By the way, uh, make sure you like this video, please. Leave comments, talk to us, engage with us. Um, also, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to Jose's channel as well. His is more of a gaming, adventure, paranormal video. So, we're going to be doing a video tonight. We're going to be doing some haunted... Well, not to say haunted, but scary videos. So make sure you subscribe to his channel to check that out. And you can see our reactions while playing. Also, we do have social medias. I have TikTok. He has TikTok. I have Instagram. He has Instagram. I have Facebook. He's got Facebook. So if you want to see what is more going on, I don't know if that made sense, but come follow us. Definitely check it out. did it, guys. Definitely <laughs> did it. <laughs> come follow us. Hang out with us. Um, yeah, it'd be fun. And just to clarify, we're not doing a scary video tonight. We're going to be, since it's October and it's Halloween, we're going to be playing a scary video game. So I don't want you guys to come and think that we're going to be going somewhere or doing some scary stuff. It might be scary, you know, scary video game, but it's a scary video game we're going to be playing. And then I also, end of this month, I'll be putting up a video, so make sure you do subscribe. I want to go to a corn maze never been in my entire life. So it's about five acres and it's Wizard of Oz corn maze. So make sure you check out. Don't check out. Make sure you Stay tuned and watch. Thank you. See, what would they do without him? See, there's no room, so I have to make a site. Uh, an meat, organ. That is, meat. that it right there is an intestine part. Or we could say the gallbladder. <laughs> Something like that. We're going to stick it over here. I don't want it to get stuck to my my foot. And then it's like. An he gets an abscess on his foot. At least mine grew on. Hers is like definitely in her foot. All right, so this is the final product. They cannot see it, so pick it up. Voila! What do you think? With the meatballs and stuff. Now we're gonna throw it in the oven. We're not gonna throw it, we're just gonna place it in the oven. So I will open the oven it. door for him. And um, you're gonna see a little bit of smoke come out because yesterday I made some shepherd's pie and it kind of spilled over, so don't get alarmed. It's on fire. A lot of smoke. <laughs> you go, foot. Set the timer for 25 minutes. And we'll catch you back in 25 minutes. Welcome back to our cooking show, Jose and Melissa, or Melissa and Jose, however you like to say it. So while we're waiting for the meatloaf or feet loaf to cook, we are going to make potatoes. And I did wash these and I scrubbed them, so that's why they look nice and clean. And I seen on a post that you make little ghosts out of them. So there's four, nope, there's five potatoes. I'm going to do two, Jose's going to do two, and then the last one, we'll figure that out. So we're gonna make little tiny faces in these and make ghosts. We're adding another little challenge to our already ongoing event. Yes. So here are our potatoes. Wiggle, 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 let them dance. All right, so I'm gonna start my face off, you know. Try to do something cool. It's almost like carving a pumpkin, but you're carving a potato. Maybe not as easy. Definitely not. You gotta be careful with knives. So please do not try this if you're a child. Make sure you have supervision because you will cut your finger off and then you'll be having a bloody finger for Halloween. I'm definitely not difficult. Everything's difficult. So I'm gonna come next to you and I'm gonna dry. This big old knife so I can cut my finger off. Kind of hard to see, actually. Yes. Need like a tiny knife. I mean, I don't know if this will work, but you know, we have like a pumpkin kit here that we're gonna do for Halloween this year. What if I just, you know, try to use one of these little jaggers whoop, out of the pumpkin thing, right? That'd be like actually cutting a pumpkin. I consider that cheating, guys. What? I'm just jealous I thought of it. Boom. And then we'll make another eyeball here. Boom, look at that. And then we gotta make a mouth. So. Oh, Let's 
see who did the knockout. Oh, that's right. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that bad boy. I messed up teeth. <laughs> Whatever works. Remember, work smarter, not harder. Only a baby would say that that can't take on a challenge. Voila. Look at that bad boy right there. Should do some little lines here, make some hair maybe, or some crazy scratches. What the heck is that? What? <laughs> <laughs> one down, he's still on his first one. So let's take this one and see what I can do. I am not a perfectionist, so it saves me a lot more time because why be a perfectionist? Because this is about winning. We winning on more potatoes. Mm, this is part of the. This is part of the event. Oh, this is part of the event. They're gonna love my potatoes. Don't be, don't be putting ideas in their head. Don't be, don't be sugarcoating it so they'll be like, oh, Melissa's is better. Don't listen to her, guys. Be honest with yourselves, and you'll be a lot happier. He knows I'm cool. See, I never said she wasn't cool. <laughs> I said whose stuff is better. It's hard to see where the cuts are. And there's my second one. <laughs> Would you like to use my knife? No, oh, ma'am. Well, then that's your loss, then. Maybe, maybe make the eyes a little bigger in this one. There we go. Wow, look at that. It's amazing. That's craftsmanship right there. Let me cut his little, make it have a chin. <laughs> so those are my two potatoes. And on my potatoes, I'm gonna add some salt, which is Himalayan salt. Put some salt in the potatoes. A little bit of pepper. Jose's still working on his potato. His first potato. Number one, uno. Okay, okay, I see you, I see you. Look at that skull with the potato. Got skills that looks like Jason. <laughs> Jason's mask. You know, it's a bit more difficult trying to get the, the inside of the mouth kind of hollowed out. You know, but that's gonna mess up the teeth on the bottom. That's okay, I don't care. As long as he's got top teeth, he can still bite you. I uh, don't know, I'm kind of disappointed in my in my, in my work here, but you know, you gotta go with what God gave me. See, come on, my, my potato's cool. Look, he's got like a little scar on his chin. See, somebody hit him with a machete right there. See it? Mm. Hit him with a machete, slice him right open. I gotta admit, it's pretty cool. I actually like it, it looks creepy. Looks like he's got a nose right here too. Even those, though he, those, he, those he are put his a nose. nose. But like the little freckles around it looks like jason's mat it looks it looks creepy as aff yeah that's my potato all right now i'm gonna do the second potato and i'm gonna use which potato let's use this potato <laughs> done with his second potato and I gotta say I give him 10 out of 10 in these potatoes compared to mine. He did a very excellent job. Which is gracias. Ten out of, is that right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright so now we're gonna cook these as well and then when these are done and everything's done we'll come back and show you our end results. Alright guys so it is time to reveal what our feet loaf look like. I think it came out pretty dang good I have to say myself it did take longer than 25 minutes probably because the meat's more compacted than usual so it took longer than 25 minutes but I think we did a awesome job I did. <laughs> I did. all right are you guys ready to see the reveal three two one. All right, so this is the beautiful masterpiece. As you can see here, this is A, and this is Jose's potato ghost, which I think he did a phenomenal job, I have to say. And then potatoes, though, like, what? Creepy. And the foot looks good. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It looks like Bigfoot, though. Definitely like a Bigfoot. And then this is B, which are my potatoes. Happy pumpkin, scary ah! <laughs> And my little foot, because it shrunk, so it looks like not a foot. It looks like just a big pile with some toenails, but you know. Look, look at the growth on the side, guys. Look at the growth. Remember the growth. Yeah. Here's her bone. The bones. You know, I had to put some 
Some of the sauce on top. He fried that toenail right there, though. That toenail got messed up. That's a crispy toenail. But his potatoes look, I mean, they look they look cool, I gotta, I gotta say. Yeah, I think, that, that, I think this one looks the coolest. Yeah, you're doing a good job. This one looks cool, too. This it's one creepy. Looks... Like the teeth right here. It looks very good. All right, guys. So now it's up to you to decide the winner. And... And just so you guys know, you guys are gonna pick what the loser does in the next video. So you guys are gonna choose the winner and then you're gonna leave your opinions on what the person should do in the comments. And we will choose one and the person will have to do whatever is chosen. Yep, so A for Jose, B for Melissa down in the comments. Remember, we're grading the potatoes, the foot. The potatoes in the foot. Thank you for watching this video. We appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed us cooking and having you guys along with us. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. It really does help the channel out. Leave the comments down. Let us know who you think did the best. And make sure you subscribe and turn that bell on and do not forget to subscribe to Jose as well. The next video coming up will be these little things. Not gonna tell you what I'm gonna do with them, but this is our next video. So make sure you subscribe and have that bell on. Don't so, forget, it's gonna be another Halloween theme. Yes. Cooking video. Exciting! Until next time, guys, see ya.